Hi, my name is Adam Mead. I'm the executive chef at the Bortley Winery in the Yarra Valley. Today we're going to be cooking Leander Bortley's recipe, steamed mussels with white wine. Have it facing away from you, the thinner end of the mussel towards yourself. Just grab the bit and gently pull it away. What a lot of people tend to do is just to pull it away and that, that will just break that beard and then a lot of it will remain inside the shell. Now you notice these mussels are quite tightly closed and that's always a good indication that they're, they're nice and fresh. When you're washing your mussels, just give them a good rinse with plenty of water, okay, and then as you're working with them, you can then lift them out of that bowl, place them into another bowl so that any sediment that's come from the mussels will remain in that water. This is not an essential step, but it actually does help to get it, the skin to come off nice and evenly. We just take the core out from the top there and just score the bottom, okay, with your paring knife. So with the tomato, what we want to do is just drop it into the boiling water. Give it about 30 seconds and you'll start to see that the skin will, will come away and then that will help you peel the tomato, okay. What we've got here is just a, a bowl of cold water. And as soon as you drop that tomato from the boiling water into the cold water, it's gonna, the skin will start to peel back and that will make it quite easy for us to peel. Just place that into your cold water. And then with a small paring knife, just pull back that first layer of skin there. That will just make sure that when you've got your finished mussels, you're not, you don't have any stringy pieces of skin. The easiest way, just to cut it into quarters. And then hold one, pedal down, okay, and just run your knife underneath that flesh. We're actually going to use this part of the tomato, but it just gives you a nice contrast between the inner flesh and the outer part of the tomato. The rest of that, we just turn it over, it will sit flat on your cutting board, and then we can just dice it. We've got some diced onion here, that's just one onion for this in this case. We've got the parsley, and we're going to use some fresh basil as well. Also some garlic. There's a classic combination there, onion, garlic, white wine, parsley. Sometimes with your onion and your garlic, or just anything that you're sweating off, it's always good to have a good quantity of olive oil. You need something for that, for that onion to distribute the heat. Okay, so we start by sweating off the onion and the garlic. Just be careful not to burn it, but what you can actually do is just put the lid on there, and that way, some of the steam from the onion will, will help it to cook evenly and just soften up before it starts to go darker in colour. Just give us a stir every now and then, just to make sure that everything's cooking evenly. Okay, so it's always good to use a, a nice quality wine, something you would enjoy drinking with the dish as well. Okay, so for this dish, we've got a lovely Windy Peak Chardonnay from the De Bortley. Okay, so what we need to do is just check your onions, okay? If once they're starting to become a bit more translucent, you can see that they're ready now for the white wine. So, we just need to add about a, a cup of white wine. Once we've added the wine, we just need to get all that onion off the sides of your pot, okay? So that will make sure you don't have any uncooked pieces of onion in your final dish. We're bringing that wine to the boil before we add the tomatoes, okay? So once you can see that's come up, you can then add your tomatoes. Spread that around evenly and bring it back to the heat before we add the mussels. It's really important with mussels and actually any seafood that we don't overcook them. We don't need the heat on flat out. We can turn that down to a medium heat. And then after a few minutes, you'll start to see the heat go through and the mussels will start to open. It should take around five minutes. And then once the mussels are open, they'll be ready. So we can see that the mussels have opened. So what we're going to do is just remove all of those mussels and we're going to simmer the sauce so that it can reduce down a little bit and concentrate in flavour. Once you get to the bottom, it's always handy just to let that excess liquid drain off. What we have now, we have the, the leftover cooking liquid from the mussels. We've got the cooked mussels to the side here. We're just going to bring that back to the boil and let it simmer for 10 minutes just to concentrate that flavour. It's actually a bit of a myth that if a a mussel doesn't open completely that you can't use it. So now after 10 minutes, the, we can see that the mussel juice has reduced quite a bit. Okay, and there's just a little bit of body there. You can see when you move the, when you move the pot, you can see that the sauce comes together. Okay, so we're gonna add the mussels back into our sauce. You can just pour those in. Any cooking liquid that's in the bottom of this, of this bowl is great. 
just put that aside, okay? What we want to do is we just want to bring the muscles back to heat. They've been sitting on the side there for about 10 minutes now, so they might have cooled down a little bit. So here we've got our fresh parsley. Okay, we're just going to add that. And you'll notice with a lot of Italian cooking that you always want to add some fresh herbs at the end. Just gives you a lovely hit of flavour and a nice aroma to your finished dish. You want about a tablespoon of that basil. We just tear that and throw it in and that will give you a great flavour. Once the herbs are in, we really don't want to cook it anymore because that will make our herbs lose some of the flavour. And once we've finished, we just transfer this to the bench. And now actually this is Leanne Bortley's recipe, so we're just going to have the taste test. Hi Adam. Hi. Ah, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think the um, the Labo M Rosé would go really well with that. Okay. Yeah, it's just got this lovely savoury quality to it and should go well. Oh, actually any any white wine would go quite well with this okay. um, Chardonnay Semillon, but... Uh... Okay, so now it's the time for the taste test, so a little bit nervous. <laughs> no need to be nervous. Delicious. There we go. Cheers, Adam. Cheers. Perfect.